There's a great website called Pickroll. I'll put a link in the video description below. And it's really a search engine. It shows you here on the front page is a whole bunch of different public domain assets. They link up to different websites. So for example, there's a library of Krongus portal right here. When I click on it, we can see there's a whole bunch of different images inside of this and they link up to the Library of Congress. So in this video, I'm gonna show you a problem that you might run into. So I'm just gonna pick a completely random image here. This is a picture here of a, the Eiffel Tower. We can see that when I go to download it, it's going to ask me to download the original image, which is 2611 by 3840 pixels. And when I click original, it's going to ask me for some sort of donation because it says it's a high resolution file. So it's like, well, hmm. So I can, I can download the low resolution image, which is just a thumbnail. Well, that's not really gonna help me or a small medium. But if I wanna download the original, what do I do? So let's remember this, it's 2611 by 3840. So here's the tip. Here's how you can bypass this and not have to donate money to Pickroll. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this text that's right here, but you can't, because when I'm highlighting over it, nothing happens. It's actually up here as well. So I'm gonna highlight this, it's the same text. Right click and copy. And then I'm gonna to go to Google and I'm gonna paste into the Google window the exact description. And I wanna be clear, it needs to be the exact description. And usually what will happen is you're gonna get something back like a Wikimedia Commons page. And that Wikimedia Commons page is a public domain file. And you'll see right here, it says original file 2599 by 3220. And when I download, this is 2611 by 3840. It's pretty close. 2611, this one's 2599. It's almost the same. So when I click on 2599, you'll see there's the original image. It's pretty high quality. I can zoom in on it. There's the Eiffel Tower. And you can just right click and you can save it. Okay, so I'd like to show you another example. And I wanna point out this one may not work perfectly, but it's an option. So I'm gonna click on Planet Stories. And when I see Planet Stories, I'm gonna scroll on down and I'm gonna look for this third one in. It says Planet Stories 1949 Fall. When I click on it, the Enchantress of Venus. When I go to download, it's gonna ask me for money to download the original size. So what I'm gonna do is copy this text here at the top, but I'm also gonna make a note of where the source is. The source is Galactic Central, it's philsp.com. So now I'm gonna open up Google. I'm gonna punch in the search term and click search. And what I'm gonna do now is scroll down and look for Galactic Central. And there's Galactic Central sitting here. This is the Phil SP. And you can see there's a whole bunch here. So I'm just gonna go back to Pickroll. This is 1949 fall. I'm gonna scroll down here to 1949. On the left-hand side, you'll see 1949. And there's my fall image right there. I click on that and I can now download it. It's a JPEG file. I wanna point out this is probably not going to be the high image file. I can tell only because this has the number five in crayon on the front, and this one does not. So this is somehow a different high quality file. The other thing that you can try, when you go to download, you've got the original 2020 by 2873. You can Google the phrase and then 2020 by 2873. And you might get it back. Now you'll see here it says missing, missing, but sometimes I've found that works. So there's a few different options. The other thing I wanted to point out is you can click the images button. And when you click on the images button, you may see some results that come back. Here's one here, collections get archive. And if I click on that, that's actually gonna take me to a pretty big looking image. Here's one here. And you'll notice there's no number five crayoned on it. So this actually looks like this could be the actual image. Yes, it probably is because right next to the Enchantress, there's a little tiny indentation here and we can see that it's the same indentation here. So this is a quality scan. So I'm not saying this is gonna be the exact same size because when I go to right click and save image, you'll have to check and make sure that it's the same. It may be slightly less, but it's an option anyway. It's not perfect, but hopefully that helps. If you're trying to bypass just having to pay money to donate, you can at least give yourself a fighting chance to find the original version of those images. Take some work, but they are public domain images and they are available somewhere on the internet if you look hard enough. Here's another video on how you can supercharge your print-on-demand journey for free.